TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. You've got the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell trading to the downside, 45, 15, 47, and 4 points, respectively. You've got the semis and the transports trading the upside. Semis up 14, trannies up 120. You've got gold up 8 bucks, silver's up 6 pennies, light speed crude is up nearly 2 bucks, so uh, natural gas is up 3 cents, and a 30 year treasury is up 24 ticks, printed out at 130.15. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner. You've got the ES mini. What do we have here? All we have right now is a consolidation with inside its daily profile. Your support zone is going to be at 4118. That's the bottom of its profile. Resistance at 4188. No topping pattern at this uh, point in time. If we got a bearish reversal candle, we would get one. What I can also share with you right now is prices above its green oscillator and change line. So conditions for the S&P 500 are bullish with sellers residing at 4188. Spot volatility still well below its 50-day exponential moving average that gives an edge to buyers or the bulls. The NQ is trading above, still continues to trade above the top of its profile out there. That level's at 13.062. There's an A to B equal C to the upside. That's got a price uh, projection of 13,996. That's unless we get a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. If you take a look at the US dollar index, it has a nice buy the D point pattern that formed four or five days ago, five days ago. And now price is consolidating with inside its profile. So that's between 100.95 as support, 102.01 as resistance. Gold also consolidating with inside its profile, forming a nice little bowl of chamber candle yesterday at support. The support zone between 1974.20 and 1982.60 out there. If you take a look at silver, silver remains above the top of its uh, daily profile out there. I don't recall if there's a top. I don't think so. Otherwise, I'd probably have it noted. So there's no top out here. So silver should continue to move higher. Light Street Crude is now trading below support. The support level I'm referring to is the bottom of its daily profile. And that's at 78.02 or at 77.47 right now. So watch that at day's end. A close today below that level. And then tomorrow, what at a minimum suggests that what uh, Light Street Crude is going to do is at least go close the gap. And that gap begins from the high that uh, formed out here on March the 31st. And that was up at the 75.83 level. Natural gas, got a nice Roachman indicator bottom. A deal with support, that's the bottom of its bullish structured profile. And the 30-year treasury may form a Gartley buy pattern, at least a buy the D point pattern today. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.